What is up everybody, it's Copes here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video. In today's video we're going to be ranking every single holiday skin from worst to best. I made this video before, but since then there are 8 new holiday skins. The St. Patrick Day one, the Easter one, and then Lunar New Year as well. So we have 8 new skins that I didn't rank before, and this is definitely going to mix up this list a little bit. If you guys want another ranking video tomorrow, make sure to get this video to 200 likes by tomorrow and I'll make one. At our number 19 spot for the worst holiday skin, I would have to give it to the uncommon St. Patrick's Day skin, Sergeant Green Clover. This one just annoys me a little bit. I don't know why exactly, but this one definitely doesn't stand out like some of these other skins do, and it's not one of my favorites. At our number 18 spot, we have Yuletide Ranger. This was a Christmas outfit. This one actually looks pretty good, but I just don't think it's as complex or as creative as some of these other skins. I do honestly like this skin. Surprisingly, it's at number 18, but I would buy this skin if it was in the shop. I'm planning on buying like every skin so I can make more videos on a bunch of different skins. But you know what? I think this is a good skin. Don't hate me too much for putting it all the way down here. I think I can justify it later on why it's so low on this list. At our number 17 spot, I gave it to Nogops, which is a little bit better than Yuletide Ranger in my opinion. They're basically the same skin, but she has a Christmas hat on, and I think it's a little bit more festive than Yuletide Ranger is. At our number 16 spot, I would personally say this is one of the best uncommon skins inside this game but it doesn't really stack up against these rare legendary and epic skins just because it's uncommon and it's not as creative as some of these other skins but i would say the crimson scout is a decent number 16 spot and if you don't have very many v bucks but you want to get a new skin i would say get the crimson scout now moving on to our number 15 spot we have the ginger gunner if you guys watched my first holiday ranking skin this was very low on the list but since some of these other skins are new to this video i would say the ginger gunner is a little bit better than some of these other ones the only reason I don't like her so much is her smiling face. I really like the other skin, the other gingerbread skin. He's actually the guy version, and I think he looks a lot better than she does because he has this sad, mean face on instead of this smiling, happy face. So I think the best uncommon skin on this list is Scarlet Defender, and she will get the number 14 spot. She's very similar. She's like the basically the same thing as the Crimson Scout, but she's just a girl. I think if I were to buy an uncommon skin, this would be the one I would buy. You know, Sergeant Green Clover, I would probably get it just because it's a new skin and I like getting new skins. I would probably get all these skins if I didn't have them. But, you know, I think the Scarlet Defender is actually a pretty good looking skin. I love the red and white on her instead of the red and black on the guy. At our number 13 spot, for one of my least favorite legendary skins, I would give it to the Cuddle Team Leader. I just feel like the ears get in the way of my vision a little bit and it's a little bit more difficult for me to actually see people or when I'm engaging in gun battles it's going to be harder to hit them because the ears are always getting in the way when I'm jumping around. I like this skin but it just doesn't cut it on this list because of those problems that I just mentioned. At our number 12 spot we have a skin that's near and dear to my heart. So if you guys completely disagree I will understand. We have Codename Elf. I think this is a, an amazing skin, I really do. I got this skin when it first came out and this was the first skin I ever have bought in Fortnite except for the Battle Pass skins which I, you know, I worked to get those. I, I, I know I spent money but I actually worked to get those but Codename Elf is a great skin and I love it so much. Maybe it's because I bought it and it was the first skin I bought actually. At our number 11 spot we have a St. Patrick's Day outfit. It's called the Highland Warrior. The Highland Warrior isn't very complex, but she just looks so bright. She looks so bright and um, vibrant. I love it, and I love the all black and gold colors on her. I know this one's pretty simple. Maybe this could have gone lower on the list, but this is just my personal preference, and I like this skin. At our number 10 spot, I really didn't know which one I liked better before this video, but I think the Bunny Brawler is a little bit worse than the Rabbit Raider. So the Bunny Brawler is basically an all-white skin with a black girl inside this skin. It kind of stands out, like, a lot 
but I just like the Rabbit Raider a little bit more than this one. I really do like the back bling with the Easter egg on the back. I love that design, but I think this skin is is okay. It's it's right in the middle of this list, and I think it's okay. At our number nine spot, I had to give it to Crack Shot. I think a lot of people dislike Crackshot. I don't really understand why. I think this is one of the create, most creative and coolest skins that's been added in this game so far. I think that's why it got such a high spot on this list. But, you know, maybe it's you guys out there who've just fucking destroyed my opinion and made me change my mind. Because I swear, people hate the Crackshot for some reason. Are you guys on that... Are you guys on that bandwagon where you hate the crack shot for some reason? Because I just don't understand. At our number eight spot, we have the gingerbread man. Not the gingerbread girl, but the gingerbread man. I kind of went over this one a little bit. This guy just looks ripped as fuck, and he looks evil, he looks mad, and he looks like he just wants to go out there and get some kills. I love this skin. I'm going to get it if it ever comes back in the shop, which I don't know if it will. I really don't think it will, but if it does, you know, I'm definitely going to get it. At our number seven spot, we have the gold trooper. This could be higher on my list if I was going over the rarity, but just based on the looks, I think it looks badass, but if this skin was just in the shop all the time, I don't think it would be as high on the list as it is right now. You know, I think the skin looks amazing, but the rarity of it just gives it that extra boost. I didn't want to give it too much of a boost, but I had to give it some respect because I don't know of many people who have this skin. At our number six spot, we have the Red Nosed Raider. I think people are going to get pissed off for the selection on this list, but I love those little antlers on this girl and her little deer, um, her deer ears. I think it looks pretty good. I love the colors as well and the Christmas sweater on her. I think that overall this is just a great skin. At our number five spot, we have the Wukong. If you guys didn't know, the Wukong now has back bling. It's called the Royale Flags, and they look amazing on this skin. I didn't find a picture with them on, on his back, but if you guys want to look it up, it's probably out there somewhere. It looks amazing. I think the skin on its own without the back bling looks pretty fucking good as well. So I would say go buy this skin. This is one of my favorite legendary skins inside this game, and I can't really see why you disagree. This guy looks like he'd be from the Planet of the Apes. At our number four spot, we have a skin that's grown on me quite a bit just because of the back bling. It's my favorite back bling in the game. You'll probably see it in most of my gameplays, me using this back bling. We have the Love Ranger at number four. His, his back bling alone gave him such a high spot on this list. There's one thing I wouldn't want on this guy. I know this may sound weird, but take those pants off. I wish this guy was all stone instead of the pink pants. People have said it before, and now that I think about it, like, I've been thinking about this for a while. This guy's pants off, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> But I wish, I honestly wish that this guy either had a different color pants or didn't have them on at all. But I love the wings as well. So at our number three spot, I mean, the number two and one spot, I didn't really know exactly what to give them, but I would say the Rabbit Raider is a good number three spot. This guy looks amazing. I don't know why I didn't buy him. I guess I just didn't have the money at the time. Now I do. I think I have like 11,000 V-Bucks because I bought $100 worth of V-Bucks to buy a bunch of skins to make videos on. But the Rabbit Raider is one of the coolest skins ever invented in this game. And the back bling definitely gives this guy an advantage as well. I love the pink rabbit suit and the rabbit ears with the Jason mask on as well. This guy looks amazing. I'm going to get him if he's ever back in the shop. At our number two spot, we have the Skull Trooper. The Skull Trooper is so rare, but that's really not why I gave him such a high spot on this list. He is badass as fuck. I don't think there's a skin that can compete with this guy, except for one on this list. The Skull Trooper, I give you my respect. You're a beautiful skin. You look fucking mean as hell, and I love you. At our number one spot, I have to give it to the Battle Hound. The Battle Hound is the best skin inside of Fortnite right now. Maybe not inside of Fortnite. I wouldn't say he's the best skin in Fortnite, but definitely the best on this list. Skull Trooper came close. Rabbit Raider came close. I would even say the Love Ranger came close, but no one can compete with the Battle Hound in the end. He is the best skin inside this game. I love, I love like, I don't know what you would call it, the mask or helmet he's wearing. 
He looks so evil and so vicious. This man deserves the number one spot. I want everyone to leave your comments telling me what you think is the best one and the worst one out of this list. And if you, if anyone leaves their full list, I will pin your comment. Whoever does it first will get their comment pinned. So if you guys care about that, make sure to do that. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you don't want to miss my Fortnite videos because I'll be making a shitload of them for as long as I can. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.